crispy on the outside and the filling is very rich due to the dried shrimp, a very generous amount of spices and of course the creamy fiber cream. Hello everyone, I'm Angie Wiranata and today I'm going to make laksa, a dish that's very popular in Singapore, usually served with flavorful soup and a lot of seafood. But today I'm going to use chicken as the main protein. And I'm going to make the laksa easier to eat by shaping it into spring rolls. Today we're also going to use fiber cream, high fiber and multi-purpose ingredient to make our laksa tastier and healthier. For this recipe, we need chicken breast, chicken thigh, fresh red chili pepper, red shrimp, garlic, shallots, ginger and turmeric, candle nuts, fish sauce, shrimp paste, pepper, sugar, salt, dried chili peppers, coconut oil, lemongrass, green onion, spring roll wrappers, and rice noodles. This time, I'm going to use fiber cream 168 grams which is very practical and easy to store. Additional fiber cream is going to make today's dish taste creamier and healthier. Let's get cooking! First, we want to boil the chicken and shred it later. While waiting for the chicken to cook, we're going to blend the spices into paste. Now we're blending the spices. We have ginger, turmeric. We don't need to peel the turmeric. It's going to taste sweeter with the skin intact. Just remember to rinse it very well. Next, garlic and shallots. Then four candle nuts. Fresh red chili pepper. You can fry the dried shrimp first to bring out the flavor more, but it's optional. You can also add it directly into the blender. Then we have shrimp paste which we have roasted to bring out the seafood flavor. Since we're making laksa, strong seafood flavor is important. Next, in the dried chili pepper go, you can also use curly red chili or Sichuan pepper. Some oil. Here we use coconut oil for a health reason. Last, we have lemongrass already cut into smaller pieces. Now let's blend everything with some water. We're transferring the paste into a pan. Then we're sorting the paste until we can see oil. But unlike how we make laksa with soup, which requires more water and salt, this laksa has to be dry enough for it to be rolled into spring rolls. So now we're going to cook this until all the water evaporates before we add the chicken. We have the cooked chicken and we're going to shred it while we're waiting for the laksa paste to lose all the water. To those wondering why we're using different parts of chicken, we're using chicken thigh because it's juicier and less chewy. Meanwhile, the chicken breast has more body and texture that we need for our spring roll filling. The oil has separated, very beautiful. Now we're adding four seasonings. First is fish sauce, add generous amount of it. Next we have salt, but be very careful, we don't want soupy laksa. We want it to be dry, so add just a few pinches of salt now and we can add more at the end of cooking if needed. Then sugar. This is also important because it's going to bind all the flavors that we have here. From spicy, sour, salty, and the seafood flavor, sugar is going to balance and harmonize them all. Pepper. I'm going to add just a little amount since this is already quite spicy. Now we're going to add fiber cream. This is the 168 gram, which is very easy to use. Just open the lid, pour. and close the lid. Very practical. Fiber cream is a creamy dietary fiber that can be alternative for santan, creamer, cooking cream, and more. Now that the paste is already perfect, let's add our shredded chicken and rice noodle. Don't be afraid to pair chicken with seafood as they're going to form what we call surf and turf. As long as they don't make fusion confusion, it's alright. So don't worry. 
The chicken won't ruin the seafood flavor from trash shrimp and fish sauce from earlier. I have just added the green onions. I added near the end so they'll remain fresh. I use the green and white parts, as the white part provides milky flavor to make the dish more unique. Now once everything is mixed well, we're going to roll this. Okay, it's time to make our spring rolls. Don't go too far with the filling because it's going to be difficult to roll out or it may explode during frying. Second tips, fold one piece of wrapper into an envelope before we roll the wrapper all the way through. Remember, if you're frying spring rolls, make sure the oil is heated over medium heat to ensure a crispy exterior and prevents the oil to get sipped into the spring rolls. Another tip, if you're frying anything, add them one by one to prevent the oil temperature from dropping too low. Well, our spring rolls are cooked through. Drain the oil by placing them on a cooling rack like this. Very beautiful. It's perfect golden brown. Don't overcook them or else they'll turn bitter. Continue to take out all the fried spring rolls from oil and fry the remaining spring rolls. These are our spring rolls. As a garnish, we're putting some shredded green onion soaked in cold water to create the curly appearance. I have also made a dipping sauce to elevate the flavor of our spring rolls. It's made of chili sauce, ketchup, and lime. So the whole dish will have spicy and creamy flavor from the spring rolls as well as delightful sourness from the sauce. These are very fragrant, very appetizing. So let's take a bite. Mm. Mm. It's crispy on the outside and the filling is very rich due to the dry shrimp a very generous amount of spices, and of course the creamy fiber cream. This is actually already a complete meal. We have the simple carbs from the rice noodles and the wrappers. The protein comes from trash shrimp and chicken, plus there's fiber cream that enriches the flavor, adds dietary fiber, and makes the dish healthier. Thank you for watching guys! If you want to make any food or a snack which isn't only nutritious but also delicious, this recipe is for you. What do you think I plan to make next? Can you guess? Share your answer in the comment box below. And don't forget to press the like button, subscribe to the LNK YouTube channel, and hit the notification bell to be the first one to discover new recipes from Fiber Cream. Bye bye! I'm going to eat this.